To balance this equation, we have barium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. We'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. One of the things I'm going to do, though, is because I see I have a PO4 here and then over here, I'm just going to count that as one thing, and that'll make the balancing a lot easier. So when I count my oxygen atoms up, I won't include these here that are with the PO4. So we have one barium. We have two times the one. That gives us two oxygens. We're not going to count these. Then we have two hydrogens times the one, two, plus these three here, they're not involved in our PO4 over here. So we're going to count these three here. That gives us five. And then we have just one phosphate ion, this PO4. On the product side, we have three bariums. We have one oxygen, two hydrogens, and then two times the one PO4. So we have two PO4s. So this simplifies things because we don't have all these oxygens here. We just included this in one package. Let's see, why don't we start by balancing the bariums? We have three here and one here, so we could put a three right here. One times three, that equals three. So the bariums, they're balanced. Now we need to update all of this. So we have two times one oxygen times the three. That gives us six. Let's update our hydrogens here. We have two times the one times three. So two times three is six plus these three right here. That gives us nine, and our phosphate, that's the same. Hmm, why don't we balance the phosphate next? I like to leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last. So we could put a coefficient of two in front of the H3PO4. So we have one of these times two, one phosphate times two, so those are balanced, and we need to update our hydrogens again. So we have two times the one times the three, six hydrogens, plus, 2 times 3, that gives us a total of 12 hydrogen atoms. At this point, our bariums are balanced, our phosphates are balanced. Let's try and fix the hydrogens. That might even fix the oxygens, because if we put a 6 in front of the H2O, 2 times 6, that gives us 12. So now the hydrogens are balanced, and the 1 times the 6 for the oxygen, that gives us 6. And this equation is balanced. So really two tricks with this equation. One, it's usually best to leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last. And then when you have a polyatomic ion that appears on both sides of the equation, count that as one thing. And that will make it a lot easier as you balance the equation. If you listed each individual element, you'd get the same answer, though. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaOH2 plus H3PO4. Thanks for watching.